hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how basically you can take a picture from your web camera using react.js using a very special library here you can see we have a nice interface out there you can see my web camera out there and we have got a button out there if i hit this button here my picture will be taken and it will be shown inside the browser here and a nice little sound effect will also be there let me just turn on the desktop volume here so that you can hear the just a tick symbol let me press this button here to take the selfie photograph so now you can see that a slight uh, sound was made just to capture that photograph you can see that we can take multiple photographs here you can see that once again it will take that photograph to us you can see so you can see that it will take multiple photographs and you can right click save this image on inside your computer so you can see that so i will be showing you how to integrate this library inside your react.js application it's a very famous library and we have got this nice little button out there and nice little sound effect also whenever we click uh, take the picture here take the selfie picture so i have given all the source code guys in the description of the live stream here so i have written a blog post where i have given all the source code so we are making use of some react hooks for displaying this image and whenever you see this image guys it has its if you open this image in live tab you will see this base64 code of this image so with the help of this base64 code image we are displaying this image inside the browser and it is basically returned inside the console here if i show you the console so this base64 code is returned and we are displaying this image using this base64 code using react hooks so i will now be showing you how to integrate this library guys with the help of uh, so the library name is very simple guys if you search for the package which is react html5 camera photo so if you go to npmjs search for this package this is basically the package guys which is there the very first link which comes here 17000 weekly downloads are there so it is all compatible inside mobile also so you can see that so now i will be showing you how to integrate this inside your react chess application so first of all we will basically write the functional component and here we will simply return hello world to the user so now if you refresh your react chess application you will see hello world will be returned to you will see that so now guys what we need to do basically we need to now import this package at the very first line so we also need to import the CSS file of this package. So here we just need to first of all import the camera from react HTML camera photo. And also we just need to import the CSS file as well, react HTML5 camera photo. It contains a build folder and then CSS and inside index.css, that's all. So after this guys, we just need to embed this uh, component here, right here. So we will embed this camera and it takes some options guys. If you just embed this camera here, basically now you will see your web camera will be there. If I show you, basically your web camera will be listed here and we will got a button out there. If I hit this button here, a, a sound effect will be there, tuck sound effect. But we need to display this image inside the browser itself. So for displaying this image guys is very simple. What we can do is that we can basically bind a callback function to this component which is on take photo. So where various ones are there. So on take photo. So whenever the photograph has been taken this data URI will be returned to us which is the base64 image of the image. So here we just need to bind to a custom function handle take photo we will define this function and we will pass this data uri data uri to it so now we just need to define this function right here so we will get this data uri here so now if you console log it so basically guys now if i go to my browser so as i click this button if I check my console, so you will see this base64 code will be returned to us. You will see that this base64 code. Now we just need to display this 
image using this base64 code. For now to display this, it's very simple. We will make use of hooks, guys. Use state hook. And for this, we will simply say URI, set URI. Initial value will be null. So we'll import this use state automatically from React. Initial value will be null. And here we will simply compare it. So here after this, we will simply inside this parentheses, curly bracket, sorry. Here we'll have a condition. If URI is not null in that case, and symbol, and here we will put an expression right here. We will just embed an image and the source will be equal to URI, that's all. So this basically, this is the expression, it is called as JSX. And this JSX impression encloses inside curly brackets. And we are saying that if URI has got a value, in that case, we just need to display this image using that value. And for this, we just need to set this value using this hook method, which is set URI. And we, here we will pass data URI, that's all. So this is basically the method guys where we are using this use state hook method and where here we are just embedding this data URI property here and then we are displaying this using this image tag that's all. So now if I basically click this button so now your image will be taken here. So once again if I change this you will see that. So image has been taken guys you will see that you can take the picture from your web camera and display it inside the browser using ReactJS using this awesome package library. So thank you very much guys. All the source code is given in the description of this live stream. My blog post is there so you can copy paste all the source code. And thank you very much for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next one.